now let's go ahead and work on these two routes so what is the change quantity and what is the get cart so in the change quantity uh, first we will fetch the cart so we will say and change quantity like we will receive simply the quantity in the schema so if you want to validate that you can uh, in the schema cart.ts you have to define a separate schema and let's do it anyways export const change quantity is schema is equal to z dot object and here we will have this so now let's go back to the cart we have to validate this as well const validated data is equal to change quantity schema dot parse and we will say request dot body now the quantity is validated now we have to update the cart so we will say const updated cart is equal to so we will say await prisma client dot cart item dot update and inside the update we are here we have to pass two arguments so one is the where so where id is equal to request dot params dot id so it will be of type number and apart from this we have to give data as well so in data quantity will be validated data dot quantity now return the response response dot json we will say updated cart so this is done uh, here also you have to do the same thing so you have to check if the user is updating its own cart item and in the get cart it's pretty straightforward so what we have to do is we have to create a variable const cart is equal to await prisma client dot cart item dot find many and inside find many we it will be where so where user id will be equal to request dot user dot id and we have to include two thing one thing basically so we want to fetch the products as well so we will say product colon true so this is how you include the relation now simply we will say response dot json and cart so these two should work let's give it a try in postman so let's duplicate this request first and here we will say change quantity so here you want to change the quantity of cart to because if we go into the prisma and reload this you can see that the id is 2 and the quantity is 2 so we want to change the quantity to 4 so let's go ahead and do that we don't need the product id we need to change the quantity to 6 let's suppose okay so okay so it was sorry a put request so in delete i guess it has deleted this cart no issues we have to create one cart item here so the cart is created the id is 3 now let's try to do that i like by default it was delete so it deleted that cart so cart id is 3 now now you can see that the quantity is 6 so if i refresh here you can see the quantity is 6 so it is working fine now what i have to do is apart from this we have to test one more thing which is get so duplicate this change the name to get cart remove this and it will be a get request hit send and you can see that the cart is retrieved so if there are really multiple items in the cart so it will be array of all the cart items so it is working fine now in the next lecture we will see how we can create the order from this cart